Hey, if you don't know, now you know. SOS Wrestling Network back at y'all with a quick news break. Quick news brief. Over this past weekend, we had tons of pro wrestling action to happen, whether it be New Japan, WWE, AEW, Impact Wrestling, all of the wrestling promotions. But All Japan Pro Wrestling, there was a big event that happened. All Japan Pro Wrestling crowned their new All Japan Triple Crown Heavyweight Champion as Yuji Nagata is the new Triple Crown Heavyweight Champion. The 54-year-old Yuji Nagata was able to best Kento Miyahara at the All Japan Pro Wrestling's Day Mania X this past Sunday. It was at Corken Hall. Looks like he becomes the 69th man to hold the belt in the lineage. The 69th champion, excuse me, to hold the lineage and the 30th wrestler to hold the belt. He actually ended Kento Mihara's reign after 154 days, and Kento Mihara also had four title defenses right here. He holds the all-time record as Kento Mihara for the most combined triple crown defenses with 28. So shout out to him. Post-match, Suji Ishikawa, a favorite of the channel right here, confronted Yuji Nagata for a championship match here in the near future. So looks like we're going to get a title match between Shuji Ishikawa and Yuji Nagata. Definitely sign me up for that right there. Uh, so Yuji Nagata, Yuji Nagata, excuse me, becomes the fifth man to hold the IWGP heavyweight, GHC heavyweight, and the All Japan Triple Crown. The previous four being Satoshi Kojima, Kaiji Mudo, my man Yoshi uh, Hiro Takayama, excuse me, uh, uh, Kensuke Sasaki being the previous four before this man. So he's etched his name in the history books. Who's going to be the next guy to do this? Suzuki has made his claim that he wants to be the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. That will make him the sixth man to do this. It's interesting because for a long time, that record was only just etched to three, with that being Kensuke Sasaki, Yoshihiro Takayama, it actually was just straight up just a two for a while. What do I mean? Three. It was just literally two for the longest time. That being Yoshiro Takayama, Kensuke Sasaki. Once post CB happened, we got Kaiji Mudo, we got Satoshi Kojima, and we got Yuji Nagata right here. Itch at your name in history, being one of five men, each of these guys to hold all three major pro wrestling titles right here. So I want to know what you guys think about this, man. Who do you think will be the next person to hold all three of these belts? Because I know uh, Minoru Suzuki, he needs, like I said, an IWGP heavyweight reign. Um, let me go through the list right here. That's actually really hard. Uh, who else is holding? Uh, we got Suwama, who would need to hold both the GHC and the IWGP. Same with Kento Miyahara. Uh, Roshi Tanahashi, we need to hold the GHC and the Triple Crown. Same with Okada. Same with Tetsuya Naito. Um, Will Ospreay would do that as well. And speaking of the Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship, there's a guy in New Japan who's owed a title shot who never got his title shot because he won the Champions Carnival, that being Shingo Takagi. So at some point, maybe you might etch his name as a guy who is a former Triple Crown and a former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. But that's that's speculative at this point. Hats off to Blue Justice, the new All Japan Triple Crown Heavyweight Champion. That's just name of history, the fifth man to hold all three Perezu belts. Put down in the comments what y'all think about this, man. I had to hit y'all with this quick news break. Of course, you already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all this good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. The price of subscription, ladies and gentlemen, free 99 So I'm signing up out of here. It's your boy, the Pro Wrestle Fly God. Start of Shiaku. Blunt to your Naito. El Toro Negro, the human LIJ cap. Repping for SOS Wrestling Network, as I always do. Peace.